Biorock is a new innovation and it's basically one of the ways that we are using technology in conservation which is very creative and innovative and, and it has a large prospect of us using this technology not just for artificial reef restoration but for coral propagation so we could we could manipulate bio rock in many ways to assist in coral reef, uh, restoration rather than just as uh, artificial reef structures we could use them to probably grow corals at a faster rate and all plant a lot more fragments of corals onto the reef in a shorter space of time than we possibly could with conventional coral nurseries on the bio rock structures we have been growing over 12 different species of corals. Two of the most important species of corals that we're growing on the baroque structures are the Acropores, which are Elcon and Stagon, Acropora palmata and Acropora sovicones. These species are considered as critically endangered species of corals as they are one of the most important coral reef building species and nursery habitat species of coral in the Caribbean. Both species have, have suffered severe losses to their populations generally throughout Florida and the Caribbean from the 80s facing natural and anthropogenic impacts from coral disease to bleaching and even to uh, increase of nutrients and runoff into the marine environment which causes smothering of corals and um, macroalgal blooms which, which also overgrow and compete with corals. So the baroque structures in both Guava and Caracol have been doing amazingly well since we have deployed them. We've seen growth in, in all of the coral species that we've had on the structures. All of the structures have accreted a fair amount of calcium carbonate and the project on the whole is doing very well. Recently, we have done a cleaning of the structures to ensure that any macroalgae or tough algae that has grown on the structures, that we completely remove them. And then after cleaning of the structures, we would have repopulated some of the structures with more fragments of corals so that we can grow the maximum amount of coral per structure. So by 2019, we should have at least between uh, 1,800 and about 2,500 corals to 3,000 uh, coral fragments growing on these baroque structures, which would be used to seed conventional nurseries, which are still very important to coral reef restoration and would also be used to, to be all planted onto coral reefs and to seed other bio rock structures as we expand the bio rock projects that we have in Greenland.